my name is, is Greg Morris. I was at James M. Hill from 1965 to 2000, and I was principal in the last 10 years, 1990 to 2000. I started in 65, that's when I graduated from university, and uh, uh, I was down at Ben's one night, and Ben O'Reilly is the chairman of the school board. I, I was home from college, I was going to college in Fredericton, but anyway, he asked me if I had a job yet, and I thought I did in Bathurst, uh, kind of a hockey-related job, but anyway, he said, would you like to work here? And I said, yes, and he said, you're hired. And that was it. it, it a little different than it is nowadays. When I started, I was a math teacher. At that time, quote unquote, the new math was coming in. That was 1965, right? That's that's how I started. When they amalgamated the schools to become, well, it was District 10 High School then, and then James M. Hill, it, it was departmentalized. They're going to be departmentalized. So I applied for the position of department head. So I became math department head. Not sure when I became vice principal. It was around 1970. I know when we moved here, I was vice principal then because I used to work part time here at James and Mill and in the mornings at the old school. So like I, I remember this building when it was just a hole in the ground, and one of my responsibilities was ordering equipment and supplies and. At that time, it was crazy. What was coming in these doors, you wouldn't believe. 15 or 20 years later, there still were chairs and stuff not used yet, so it was quite a time. When I came into the school, you know, I still recognize everything. And I became vice principal and principal in 1990, but after that, things were becoming more technologically involved. And uh, just down the hall here, and in 812, 814, that became kind of a humanities lab and, and another different one down in the business area. And that's where we kind of focused on. That's when they first started to study technology. So that, that, was a, that was a big change then, and we are pretty proud of that. At that time, we did a fair number of physical changes to the building with the declining enrollments, like we closed one locker room altogether and opened that into offices and, and uh, places for students and that type of thing, and combined rooms to become these learning areas and that. I like to hear that uh, there's movements afoot to return to more special training, like practical courses and that type of thing, because that was the strength of our school early in the 70s and when we moved up here, the labs and the equipment we had in areas like the, well, home ec or business or industrial departments was really, really special. And you know what? The students are great too. They're still the same. I hear all these stories, oh, I wouldn't want to be at that school now or teach in school. That's hogwash. It's, the kids, you know, there's the odd one that's struggling maybe with problems, but, but the kids are still great kids and they want to do well too. So anyway, uh, I coached the hockey team for a long time. Uh, some baseball, but not, I coached baseball in the community, but not, but not at the James M. Hill, except I think one, maybe two years I did. Yeah, and uh, we were proud of all our areas. You know, we were trying to develop the basketball area and the gym sports and that type of thing. Uh, Soccer was very well. In fact, there was a long stretch when I was here that girls field hockey was kind of the flagship sport. I wasn't coaching it, Eric Gremley was, but uh, it was a big deal. My favorite thing about being principal is the pride I have in the kids that we've produced here. You see them doing so many different things and being successful, like medical doctors and businessmen and women and nurses and just good kids. You know, you meet them on the street and it's it's 50 years ago that I knew them and you know, recognize a lot of them by their look, right? Maybe not their first name or something like that, but to meet the the former students is always, I'm always pleased. You know, they say hi or, and that type of thing, but for sure that's, that's my biggest pride. When I hear one of our students, not just when I was here, but since then, you know, since 2000, there's a lot of kids have achieved a lot of great things representing James M. Hill. Hi, Claude LeBears here. 
I had the pleasure to serve as principal of JMH from the year 2000 to the year 2012. Well, you know, it, it sounds kind of uh, repetitious to say, you know, the, it's your world, the development, all that, and it is. But, 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 uh, you know, I, I just want them to keep their head up. They have a lot to offer. You know, if they're going, if they're going to uh, continue schooling, or if they're going to choose a profession, whatever it is. Whatever it is, there's great things ahead of you, and you know, you'll do what you do with it, sort of a thing. It's a, it's a, it's it, it's a nice time. It's a nice time in the Miramichi, and uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunities, and there's more opportunities coming all the time. So, I'd say keep your head up, be proud that you have a good education, and and do the best you can. Hey, y'all. My name is Bill Kierstead. Now as the principal, it was my honor to be the principal of Jameson Hill from 2013 to 2016. Happy 50th anniversary, Jameson Hill. Hi, my name is Heidi Ryder. I have been the principal of James M. Hill since September of 2017 uh, until the current day, and I am very proud to be the first female principal of James M. Hill. So to the class of 2023, we are very proud of all of you. We know that you will go off to do great things. Uh, my one piece of advice, I guess, is to always remember where you came from. You always have a place here at James M. Hill. And whenever you need us, just let us know um, because we are always here to support. And we would look forward to seeing what happens to you and where you go and where the world takes you um, for the rest of your life. So congratulations class of 2023 and all the best. <laughs>